Welcome back to the new edition of Touchdown Talk. This is episode two. I'm here with my co-host, Brandon Parsons, Corey Gellman. How are you guys doing today? I'm good. Doing good, Harp. Good. Hey, your Steelers look 3-0. and They look really good. I do. I like Justin Fields. I think he's the right option. I don't think Russ is going to be much better. We'll see if Justin Fields can keep it going for us. I like our offense better. Defense just shot out. Defense is greatness. Beavers, what happened with your Saints, buddy? Fly yeah, Eagles, fly. Here we go. Here we go. Saquon, what was that, 142 tutties? And, you know, just a luck game. There's going to be losses. I mean, we're just going to go 16-1 and one now. 16-1. Uh, and one. I mean, you're yeah. up, what was that? You guys put up 90 points. And what did you put up? 12? Yep, 12. Jeez, man. I mean, our Jalen Carter pretty cooked, cooked you guys' defense. It was just Jalen Carter. If Jalen Carter was never born, we win that game by 100. How about C.J. Garner-Johnson? He was cucking up. He was talking a lot of junk. He was talking so much junk, and Michael Parsons stood up for the New Orleans Saints. <laughs> did, did you guys see that video, though? No, I did not see that video. He, he was chirping um, Gardner-Johnson, saying that the Saints are still a good team, and they got lucky and all that. It was actually really funny. Well, I mean, he plays for the Cowboys, so that's kind of a Cowboys mentality, right? I mean, the Cowboys suck, so. I mean, look what, look what they did. Yeah, they, Michael Parsons is him. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of good stories. I mean, look at the Panthers. They bent, they bench Bryce Young, and he don't comes in throws three touchdowns. Three hundred passing yards too. Three hundred passing yards. What is that? The first, first guy this year with three touchdowns, three three hundred passing yards. Yep, only QB mm -hmm. in the NFL with that in his first week. Jeez, I mean, Bryce Young's getting benched the rest of the year. Definitely. I mean, that, that obviously kind of proves <laughs> Bryce Young was the problem, basically. Yeah, uh, just throwing a random. Honestly, Vikings <laughs> need to pick him up. Now, yep. Sam Darnold, he's cooking three and out. Mm. I mean, Sam Darnold does look pretty good, if you ask me. Yeah, he does. He, he's looking like Tom Brady. I mean, Malik Willis and the Packers beat the Titans. I mean, that's a good upset. Not not, not an upset, not an upset, but a good, uh, good revenge game for Malik Willis because he gets back on his former team. But, <clears throat> I mean, the... If the Packers come in with Malik Willis, then I don't see, I don't see why that could be the be dangerous with Jordan Love. I'll tell you that. I mean, yes, yeah, same with Russ too. Justin Fields getting his second chance out there. It's gonna be hard to start Russell Wilson whenever you're three and out with Justin Fields. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, I think the Steelers could. I, I can see them trading Russ to the, to the Dolphins. Yeah, or at least I don't, I don't know if Russ is like mad that he's gonna that he'd be a backup though. I mean, he's pretty old. How many teams would he start for now with it, like that don't have an injured starting quarterback? Not a lot. Not a lot. I mean, I mean the way the way that some of these backups are playing. I mean, I mean Sam Darnold playing good. Mm -hmm. Andy Dalton's playing good. I don't really. I mean, just just the Dolphins. I mean, is what, I think they're starting Tim Boyle now. It's not Skylar Thompson anymore. No, I, th I think didn't Skylar Thompson get hurt too? I have no clue. I, I, th I, th I, I think I watched the game either. I, th I think Skylar Thompson got hurt in that game, and they were starting Tim Boyle at one point. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, he's I remember. He's, I think he's a like a bald guy. I don't, I don't really know much about him. <laughs> Drake May, he's getting his first start in New England. They're benching Jacoby. Yeah. I mean, that's, that should have been the start of the season. What they should have done. I mean. To give you percent, I don't think he's a really good quarterback. I don't they, know why they, they didn't look terrible first game of the season, then kind of just fell off from there. Typical Patriots. And who they beat the Bengals? The Bengals look horrible. The Bengals are not looking good. They just lost to the Commanders last night. And then three. Jalen Daniels, that was a great game by a rookie right there. I mean, that pass to, to Terry, oh my. D didn't he have the highest completion percentage in a game by a rookie? Yeah, it was like 90-something. 90 91. He 90, threw two incompletions. He yeah. threw more touchdowns in incompletions. There wasn't a single punt or turner in that entire game either. Yeah. For, for both teams, like not even just the commanders. Like I don't even know. The Bengals didn't even look that bad. They just couldn't pull it out. No. Against the commanders' defense, which... While we're talking about the AFC North, Ravens getting their first win against the Cowboys. Cowboys, what, 0 and 3 to start the year? 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Cowboys, they they did almost come back there, but not enough time on the clock. No. You know, the Cowboys are. Were they, aren't they last in the division now? Or they're, they're probably third in the division right now? Yeah, Giants are probably last. 49ers are last in that division. Oh my Nobody God. Nobody knew that. Like, the Niners look horrible. I mean, they obviously, Christian McCaffrey's still went out. 
They lost a lot of defense in the offseason, too. George Kittle's hurt. Debo's hurt. I think Javon Hargrave just got hurt in the last game, too. I don't think it was serious, though, so he should be okay. Juan Jennings, heck of a fantasy game wow. and in live game for him. What do you 40, have? 40 something points. And what do you have? 170 yards, three touchdowns? Yep. Jesus, dude, that's, that's crazy. If he's still in the waiver wire, go pick him up. I mean, what about Bo Nix getting his first one? He looked, he looked really good. Yeah, he's still a little shook, shook up from the shoelace sack from TJ. <laughs> okay, he's from, here comes the glazing for the head cut. Steelers, but I just can't wait till week 11 when the, when the Eagles and the Steelers play. Eagles are going to cuck them. Remember, remember what happened last time? What was that score? 38-13. That was their Super Bowl. A.J. Game. Brown had like two, three three head top touchdowns in the end zone. Couldn't, they couldn't stop them. How are they going to stop them? They're not. We're going to get A.J. Brown for, back for the uh, – Forget who they play for the play the Bucks. Where's my card? The Bucks. Bucks. They look good first part. I don't know that week three game kind of scared me with the Bucks. They didn't look near as good. Who they, who they play? Week three. Didn't they, they lose play, to the Broncos? They played the Broncos. Yeah. They lost. Yeah, they lost to the Broncos. That's an upset. Yeah, the Broncos are bad. <coughs> that, that comeback by the Rams though, against the Niners was really cool. Yeah, that was a fun game to watch. Matthew Stafford, still looking strong in the league. He's in his late 30s, isn't he? Something like that. Maybe not late. Maybe, maybe mid-30s, I'm not sure, but he still looks really good. There was a ton of injuries, though, in that Saints-Eagles game. I'd say there's, like, the Eagles were half, were throwing to Paris Campbell at one point. They had uh, Britton Covey got injured. Devontae Smith has a concussion. Lane Johnson has a Devontae concussion. Smith got rocked. Dude, that was a dirty hit. Don't, don't. Nah, it was clean. Where was the flag? He, sp- he spit on him after the play. <laughs> Good. Good. That's unreal. You're just mad that you got cooked. Yeah, still taking out the best players now. Mm-hmm. Browns versus Giants. Giants got their first win. Browns did not look too hot. Malik Neighbors look good. He, he's the number one receiver in fantasy right now. Like, um, Sam Laporta got hurt from the Lions, but he hasn't really been producing anyways. I think, <clears throat> I think Dallas Goddard had the second second highest fantasy points by a tight end, maybe. This but, year? Yeah. I think, yeah, I think, I think. What, what did Isaiah likely have week one? He might have the first. He might have the first. Cause yeah, I, he probably does have the first. I think Isaiah likely only had like 21, 20. Uh, so, yeah, definitely, because I think Dallas had, like, 33. I think he had... He, he uh, had yeah. 27 points. Because I had to face you. Yeah, he had, uh, what, six, seven catches for 170 yards? Yeah. Or 140 yards. I forget what it was, something like that. Yeah, he went off. So did Saquon. That, that, one, that one play where he caught that, caught that ball and ran 60 yards. It was, like, uh, it was yeah. third and 16. Unlike the Eagles, one of the, one of their last offensive drives of the game. Actually, it was their last offensive drive of the game. Just took a ball, took the ball sixty yards down, got tackled inside the five. The Saints just couldn't get anything going for him. Jalen Carter would tip every single ball. It's crazy. I don't think the Eagles didn't force one turnover either. Yeah, the Saints defense was like looking good though. Like in the first half, Eagles had zero points and they drove down into the on um, their side of the field like every time. Yeah, I think the Eagles had like one hundred and forty eight yards. Total offense while the Saints only had like 70 or something like that. And, and they, they were up three. And yeah. they were up three. Yeah. It was crazy. I mean, the Eagles. Because what, cause what was it? It was like a pick, stopped on fourth down, fumble, stopped on fourth down. Mm-hmm. Just <coughs> go for fourth down every time. Yeah. Nick Sierra does not like taking field goals. He does not like taking points for some reason. I don't know why. A lot of teams are going for fourth downs now. Like, that's what happened in the Bengals game. Like, whenever there was no turnovers, it's just because they would go for fourth down every time. Chief and Falcons game, another game bailed out by the refs for the Chiefs. Uh, do you want to you want to ask, uh, um, ask ask the audience? Unbelievable! They got to I mean, protect baby Patrick Mahomes. And dude, he's been getting he's been getting protected for three years. It's gonna have to stop. The refs are like number one in power rankings right now for the Chiefs. I mean, <laughs> and we'll just pull up this one. So this was last week. They called this P. I to uh, save the Chiefs. And then we got a no call pass interference, also in favor of the Chiefs. <laughs> so I mean, the Chiefs just get bailed out 
every single week. Yeah, they might as well give the league MVP to the refs at this point. If they want the Chiefs to go undefeated, just have them skip the regular season, go straight to the playoffs. I'm going straight to the Super Bowl. I mean, there's been like, is they they love Patrick? Like even the announcers love Patrick and Chris Collinsworth. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, the glazing oh, is crazy. That's, that's, that's almost that's as bad as with you and the Fal- um, not Falcons, Falcons, Eagles. Is it bad? Fal- Falcons, despite their record, they are looking good this year. They've they've had three tough teams first games. The Steelers obviously two first two week. tough teams, the Eagles and the Chiefs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean they beat the Eagles, so there's that. And then they just lost to the Chiefs. Yeah, they're going to keep facing hard teams. They played the Saints twice this year, obviously. Division rivals. Easy wins. You know, so that would be a good game, them. especially in Atlanta. That would be a good game. How about the you? Jaguars? The Jaguars? Jaguars yeah. got blown out, and Jaguars. they're not even a bad team. And Mark Andrews, another zero-point game. Yeah, but they're well, just going to keep giving the ball to Derrick Henry. No no dropbacks to throw to my boy Mark Andrews. I mean, that's all I can really do. I mean, Lamar and Derrick Henry. That's probably like the best rushing deal in the I league. I mean, they should just keep feeding Derrick Henry. He's unstoppable. Yeah, I wouldn't even try to trade Mark Andrews. I'd just drop him now. He, he has no upside. <clears throat> how many? I wonder how many targets he has. Because doesn't he only have seven through the first two weeks? I don't know. I think he only had one on um, Sunday. So he has eight targets through three weeks. That's insane. He's supposed to be a top five tight end. Yeah, he had, he had zero points. Travis Kelsey also looks bad there. It's just the old heads. They're just. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right now, the best tight end in the league is Dallas Goddard. That's just how it is. Yeah, you win. I mean, who, who do the Saints have? Jawan Johnson? Jason Hill. <laughs> they, oh, Jason, wasn't he hurt? Yeah. <laughs> so so is Jawan Johnson. The Commanders, the Bengals game. We already talked about that, but you got to watch that throw to Scary Terry. I mean, that was just red basket. Should I pull it up? <coughs> huh? Yeah, um, okay. Bear, Bears Colts. Bears lost another one. Not very not a very interesting game. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Caleb Williams just a bust. Yeah, he looked I, I mean you can't say that looked, based off three games, but he like, looked bad. I said I said I said the same thing last week, but you were like, no, I just drop just drop No, in fantasy drop Caleb Williams. He's not gonna do anything. I, he had, he got like twenty five points. He was on my bench, but he had like twenty five. He had twenty five yeah. this week. He had a lot of. Wait, had what was the final game. score of that game then? Twenty one sixteen Colts. How did he have twenty five points with? He 16? had a passing touchdown. He had like he had like three hundred yards passing. Yeah. He, didn't, he didn't play bad at all. It's just the O line. Did you guys see that picture whenever they were like on the goal line <laughs> yeah. and yeah, like, their entire O line was oh, on the ground? <laughs> it was bad. And there was DeAndre Swift got like tackled like. Like 20 yards down past Yeah, that, that was Line of scrimmage. <laughs> Seahawks killed the Dolphins 24-3. And Dolphins in shambles. Uh, I don't... Tyreek Hill with another under 10 fantasy game. I'd definitely trade him. Not looking good for the rest of the season. Yeah, you, you just got to get rid of all the Dolphins wide receivers that you can. Jalen Waddle and Tyreek. You just want to get... Right them as fast as you can, get what you can. And you want to pick up Devon A. Chain. Yeah, because they'll, they'll probably be running a lot. This is the upcoming games for this week. <clears throat> we got the Cowboys at the Giants. Do, we, do you see the Cowboys losing another one here? Wait, who is it? Giants? Cowboys at Giants. There is no way they lose another game, no especially way. to the Giants. Yeah, no, I got Cowboys for that. Yeah, definitely Cowboys. I would, I would love... To see the Giants beat the Cowboys. Do, do we just want to run through all the games, take our picks? Yeah. Right. Cowboys, Giants, you guys taking the Cowboys? Yeah, we got Cowboys. I'll take the Giants. <laughs> Broncos at Jets. Jets. Um, I'm, I'm taking the Broncos. I don't know. I feel like Broncos could win that. Yeah, I'm taking the Broncos. The, the Jets aren't, like, impressing me at all this no. year. Like, they should be a good team on paper, but they're not they, really they doing anything. They blew at the Pats. They blew at the Pats. The Pats are... And the Patriots are terrible. Yeah. We got the Bengals at the Panthers. I got the Panthers. Yeah, honestly, I'll take the pan- Panthers on that. I'm taking Bengals. Dude, the Bengals can't just keep losing. Like, they should be a playoff team. <laughs> They're 0 3. I mean, I don't. It, and the okay, Dolphins. Well, what the is it? There's only been like six teams in NFL history to make the playoffs after going 0 3 to start the season. Yeah. Was that what it was? I, maybe. I'm not sure. 
Okay, we got Eagles at Bucks. Obviously, I'm taking the Eagles. Bucks. Bucks. Oh, Chris, you got to take the Bucks. Mm. <clears throat> we got the Rams at the Bears. Mm. Ooh. I'll take Rams. Rams. I think this is pretty I'll safe. I'll take the Rams, too. Saints at Falcons. I got the Falcons. Yeah, Saints. The Falcons. Saints easily. Still an explosive <laughs> offense. I mean, I don't see the Falcons having Jalen Carter. Yeah, they got Darno Mooney. Well, Fal- right now, the Falcons are favored by a point and a half. Well, okay, next one. We got Jags at Texans. Texans. Texans need a balance back. I don't, I'm, I'm I don't taking know. the Jags again. There's no way the Jags and the Bengals both started 0 3. They have to get a win at some point. I don't point. know, though. That's the thing. Jags and Texans. I mean, the Texans just lost it. They just got blown out, right? Bounce back game. Yeah, they got smoked by the Bills. Smoked by the Bills. Or the Jags got smoked by the Bills. But the Texans lost to the uh, Vikings. Vikings. They got killed 34 7. So I, that's a tough pick for me. I'm going to have to take the Texans, though. With the Vikings at the Packers, a little NFC North rivalry. Give me the Packers. Give, give, me, me, the the Vikings. Vikings. give me the Vikings. Give me the Vikings. Give me the Vikings. I think Sam Darnold is still playing really good. Yeah. And they should be able to pull another one out. Steelers at Colts. I got the Steelers. I got the Steelers, Steelers. too. Right now, the Colts are favored. I don't know how. Yeah, how does that work? The Steelers are just, they're winning. They're finding ways to win. The Colts are. Colts but did not have many offensive. Patriots at Niners. The Niners are not looking good right yeah, now. Yeah, but they're getting a couple yeah, the, of their guys back. I'll take the, the Niners. Yeah, they'll beat the Patriots. Got the Niners. The Niners are favored by ten and a half. Commanders at Cardinals. Cardinals. That's gonna be a pretty good game, though. I think. No, I think. No? I think. I think Washington's gonna get blown out. Yeah, Marvin Harrison's gonna score more tutties. I got. I got the Commanders in that game. Mm-hmm. Chiefs at Chargers. I got the Chargers. Chiefs. I, I Chiefs, got, the rest I, just keep bailing on. I, I, I got the Chiefs losing their first game of the season at the Chargers. Browns at Raiders. Raiders. Yeah, Raiders. Browns don't, don't Browns just lost to the lowly Giants. So y- who's favorite in that one? Browns. Uh, yeah, the Browns are favored by a point and a half. Take the Browns. Bills at Ravens. That's a big game. Ravens. I think Ravens are going to go on a little win streak here after that. I got I I gotta take the Bills after that showing. Yeah, night. saying they they smoked the Jags. Titans at Dolphins. That's a. Well, we'll toilet bowl action. <laughs> you got the, the Dolphins are favored by a point. The, the Dolphins probably win that though. I'll take the Titans. I'll take the Titans. Are too. the Titans zero three too, or did they win a game? They beat. Uh, I think they beat somebody. Oh, oh look real quick. Should have beat the Bears if Will. They might be zero three too. Then just let the ball go over. Uh, they yeah, could, they they're 0-3. They're 0-3. All right. Yeah, the Titans won their first game of the season at the Dolphins. Seahawks at Lions. That's a good game, too. Seahawks. I'll take Seahawks. Seahawks are 3 now, but... I got Lions. I got the Lions, so... Yeah, the Lions, like... They don't look good, but... Actually, they just beat the Cardinals. Yeah, and the Cardinals. I think, are, right? The Cardinals are decent this year. The Cardinals are, do look pretty good. A couple other injuries, the... Steelers linebacker Alex Highsmith had a groin injury. I don't know if he'll be out. Do you know anything on that? He's supposed to be practicing this week. That's good. Not nothing serious. Adam Thielen's out for the Panthers. I mean, what I talked about. Brian, Brian Branch is also out for the Lions. He got injured, a neck injury. So I don't know really about that. He all on the Eagles offensive line got hurt. Because uh, wasn't there like two or three injuries on yeah. that line? Lane Johnson, Mackay Beckton, and that might be it. I don't know if Landon Dickerson got hurt or not. Dude, there were so many concussions in that game. I think two or three guys in the Eagles start starting starting for the Eagles offense got concussions. I still can't get over the hit on Devontae Smith. It was so it was clean. For yeah, sure. okay, but right he, after he, that, he, he was cheap, but it was a clean hit. Well, what ha- what happened right after that play though? What was the next play after that play? Saquon Barkley, sixty-five yard touchdown. Yes, sir. I mean, Saquon, <laughs> Saquon has I think over, I don't know, I, th- I think he has over five hundred yards first three games, something like that, or four hundred yards. He's just doing good. Five with the Eagles, like five, way five better touchdowns. than the Giants. Oh, uh, that's because the Giants are terrible. Yeah, the Giants were bad. And they were holding him back for sure. Talk about my Philadelphia Phillies. Clinching the NL East for the first time in 20 years, baby. This is, this is football hard. I don't care. Phillies. Let's go. Let's go, Phillies. Yep. <laughs> they're going to win They're gonna win the World Series, too. You know who's an interesting player? Rashid Shahid. 
<laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying right now, he had zero points last week, and before that he had over 20 both weeks. It's not like a boomer bust kind of thing. Not against the Eagles, though. He got locked up by Darius Slay and Quignon Mitchell. <laughs> and fly, Eagles, fly. Two and one. Beat your Saints. They're going to win the Super Bowl. Obviously, because they just... Well, were they number one in power rank? and number one on paper. Please. The Eagles just beat them. Shut down their offense. The Eagles are going to the bowl. They have... When, they, when their offense gets healthy, they have the best offense in the league. Obviously, their defense yeah. to shut down their offense. So. All right, thank you for joining us on the second episode of Touchdown Talk. We will see you guys next week.